Hahaha! He's <laughs> 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 Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Tuesday. And right now I'm on my way to work. Colleen is at her business meeting and then she's got to work at two. So it's going to be a nice, slow, relaxing day. How'd you guys like the video I just put up? I proved Colleen wrong. We threw in a little John Denver music in there. Hope you guys are having a great day today, but uh, welcome to the journey. Hey, what's up? We are now leaving work. A little half day today on the audit. We'll be back there all day tomorrow. So tonight, right now, I'm just heading home. Not sure what the plan is for the rest of the night. I think I got a little bit of side work, side hustle to get done today. When I get home, it's just kind of a blah day. But I want to give you guys kind of a, you know, a history lesson of, of where I've come from. So the year is 2006. <laughs> I just graduated college. I was living with my mom and dad still. And uh, my buddy introduced me to this girl who went to school with us. Three days later, three days later, we were living together. had a house where she wanted me to move into so I was like boom so I moved in and we got married young moved in young so a year later we were married a year after that we had our first kid Lizzie we met adorable grown into adorable seven year old girl now. then literally ten months after Lizzie was born, we had Jason. And then about a year and a half later, we had Kenzie. And you guys all know our three beautiful children. The relationship that was there at the beginning wasn't there anymore. We didn't give that a full time for the relationship to, to flourish before we decided to get married. And we grew apart, we got divorced, and we're here where we're at today. So today I answered, if you missed on my Facebook page, my mornings with King Dave, the messages I give out every morning, I answered a inevitable question that you're bound to get asked whenever you're faced with something in your life, when you made a decision, and then that decision has down the road turned into something else. You're always gonna be asked, well, how do you feel now? Or what does this make you feel like? And it's this morning, I found out that over the weekend, my ex-wife got engaged and congratulations to my ex-wife and her new fiance wish you all the best i'm not upset it does not hurt i'm not jealous i'm proud and happy because that was inevitably the goal like i said in the message this morning is that i wanted to move on because we were neither one of us was making each other happy so i'm happy congratulations to them i wish them endless years of happiness and joy and love and everything like that. So hopefully this will now lead into bigger and better things and, and ease of, of co-parenting, I guess, maybe, who knows. I have no problems with uh, my soon-to-be stepfather to my children. I've talked with him. I've actually given him advice on some things and he's getting his life in order, so more power to him, man. I, I hold no negative feelings whatsoever. Negative feelings do nothing to better yourself or the world around you. And to me, if you're not doing something to better the world around you, you're not doing anything at all. What time is it? It's like 10.30. Still waiting for the queen to get home. She's on her way now, bringing some food. I've just been working and watching Watching the tribe beat up on the Blue Jays. Wasn't really much going on today. I'm, I apologize. Like I said, I gave you a little story background 
uh, of my ex-wife. Congratulations again to them. Look, look who's home. Hi. Hi. But we just had some dinner. Colleen got home. It's now about 11:30. We're gonna get to uh, to bed here soon. So how did your how did your day go? Stupid. What? Stupid. How did your business meeting go? Good. What did? You... Basically, what you learned is that we're gonna be busy here in November and December <laughs> with the Christmas connection and the dog show. Yeah. It's gonna be a... and craft fairs. And craft fairs. It's gonna be a big. Bit... And Busy time with Dog Delicious. Vegas and oh man. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna get to sleep now because it's gonna be the last time I'm gonna be able to sleep for two months. For two months. So, do you guys ever have a girlfriend who, or a person, maybe not even a girlfriend, maybe it could be your boyfriend, who when you're watching a show, okay, yeah, she, know, she knows what's up. When you're watching a show and something happens in the show where obviously nobody would have no idea what's going on because they haven't gotten to that point of the show, but they find it just so compelling to ask you, the other viewer, well, why did they just do that? Did you do that while we were watching Scorpion? No, I didn't know why they did it, I guess. Who they were going after. Right. Which they still haven't even figured out. Mm -hmm. But you thought that... She thought that I would know. Even though the TV show didn't even know what was going on yet. Colleen does that constantly. Constantly. She is the person known as the... Let me ask you a question that you probably don't know the answer to. While watching TV type of person. She knows what's up. Don't let that... Don't let that face fool you. She knows what's up. You can't even deny it, can you? I got excited. You got super excited. But Indians just won. We're up 3-0. We're going to the World Series, baby. I There's no way we're losing this being up 3-0. I'm calling it right now. Knock on any type of wood you want to knock on. We're going to the series probably against the Cubbies. So do you, how about you do the closing today? Bye, people. That's it? Is that our normal closing? Deuces! Is that our normal closing? Bye, people, deuces. Is that our normal closing? Yes. No. <laughs> Say thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Be memorable. Live memorably. And then you do the deuces. So go ahead. You do the okay. closing. All right. Ditto. Everything you just said. No, nope, editing it out, so you can't say ditto. I just did. No, I'm editing it out. I love you. Thank you all. Bye. Deuces. That's your part. No, you do it. Come on. Man, that's your part. Yes. I don't want to steal your thunder, bro. You don't steal my thunder. Don't worry. So. So you do it. I mean, everybody likes me already more than you anyway. So don't want to steal your thunder. I want to do it. I want to hear you do it. No. <laughs> do it to the camera. <laughs> We, <laughs> Kyle's, come on. Deuces. I, that's my closing. Do, do our normal closing. That's my closing. My closes is way cooler than you. Was the full closing with my clothes on and everything. No. Which, by the way, you put me in my underwear in yesterday. Why stupid? Because it's just me and people like that better. And I don't, I don't feel like it's right to give a closing. You just gotta say bye. Bye-bye. My right. flower game. <laughs> Whatever, since she's horrible. I am awesome. Be memorable, live memorably, and until tomorrow. <laughs> it's your sis. <laughs> Stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> don't bite me. Well, don't tickle me no more. Uh -huh. Peace out, everybody. We got so much hair. <laughs>